<clears throat> so these are two things that I think every dog owner should use at least a little bit in your dog's life. You're gonna have a better dog because of it. And those two things are a crate and a placemat. Stay tuned. So the crate is one of those things, it's kind of like, <laughs> he already knows it, it's kind of like him having his own little room, it's having his own little personal space. If you have multiple dogs, this is good. You want your dog to be able to go different places. If you have to go on long trips, a crate is gonna be one of those things that's very, very essential. We just went to Florida and we had four dogs. We had puppies, we had older dogs, and we had four crates in there, and it was a very quiet trip. Nobody did anything, and when they came out, they understood that they had to go to the bathroom because we created that routine. Had to make sure he wasn't running off. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. So, when you are using a crate, do not make the crate a punishment. Don't grab your dog and be like, oh my God, get in the crate, get in the crate. Because they're gonna associate that with something bad. Spend some time introducing your dog to the crate. If you clicker train, if you verbal mark, use those things and give your dog a reason to get in the crate. So we have it here. I'm gonna tell him, go box. Yes, sir, free. And I want him to know that he can get out of it on his own as well. And if he goes in and checks, that's good. You ready? Go box. Oh, you bum. Go box. And when you throw in the treats, make sure you throw it all the way in the back so he has to go in there and get it. Good boy. You ready? The next step you're going to do is start closing the crate behind him. Go box. Good boy. And free. Yes, sir. And you want to give that release command. And this is going to transition over when you start doing stays, when you start doing more training with your dog. And whenever you're working, make sure you got enough treats. So stay tuned. All right, so after your dog goes in there and you can close the gate, box, close the door behind him. You want to make sure he's not punishing or he's not pushing out or trying to get out on his own. And you want him to understand that free is when he gets released. When you're crate training people, feed your dog in the crate. After you play with your dog, put him back in the crate. Let them enjoy it. Do not make your crate as a punishment. And that doesn't mean it can't be used if the dog does something wrong and they're chewing on something or they're jumping on people and being obnoxious. Yes, you can send them to the box, but you do not want them to associate this with always negative, always negative. So again, feed your dog in there. Make it an enjoyable experience for them. And just take care of your dog, Fox. So a couple of things you do not want to do. If this puppy is in here screaming, scratching, making a big scene, I'm not going to go and let him out because that's going to teach him that if he wants to get out, he just needs to raise cane. So if he's calm, cool, and collected, we'll come over and we'll check on him. You good, boy, boss? You good? Yes. And I'm going to click and let him know that this is a right behavior to be acting in the crate. Uh, so we're going to come. Make sure he's not just busting out. Nope. Nope. And free. Yes, sir. Oh, good boy. The crate is not a bad place. Any tool can be used inappropriately. Anything can be deemed as bad. If you demonize it, use the crate. If you have to, if your dog gets injured and they have to be on bed rest, it's a whole lot easier than trying to get that dog who's a year old, two year old, to get comfortable in the crate when you start them at a younger age. And if you do have an older dog and you get a rescue dog, Give them that crate. Spend some time with them. Spend about two, three weeks just introducing that to them. And do not make it a tug of war. You do not want anything you're doing with your dog to be forced because if they have a choice between going here or running over there, they are gonna choose the latter, especially if you made this a bad experience. So spend some time with your dog, develop that bond, let them understand that the box is not a bad place. Stay tuned. So the next thing that's gonna come in handy, Everybody wants their dogs to do absolutely nothing and we never show them that so the place is one of those things that you can teach your dog that when they are on here place good. He's supposed to remain on there until he hears free good boy And as a young puppy, we're not gonna expect him to stay on here for hours and hours Unless we have some type of system to hook them to there and they do make those you can put a leash on there You can put a little tie rod out and it teaches them that they have to remain on there but again this isn't a punishment. You don't want the dog to be forced to having to go on there. Uh, what's your name? Hero, place. Good. And he can sit on there, he can stand on there, he can lay on there, nope. He just can't get off of it until he hears, good boy, free. Yes, sir. When you're starting this out, again, short sessions. Three or four seconds, let him get off. Five to six seconds, let him get off. 10 to 15, you get the picture. 
build up to the point of the time where you can leave them on there for hours and hours when you guys are watching TV, when you guys have company over, when the doorbell rings, you can send them over to place and he should wait there and you should go and open the door, do what you got to do and then you release them free when your guests get in people. These are two things that can make your life a whole lot easier to live with your dog and again it's a crate and it's a place and a lot of people are going to think for this size pup you need a super extra large, no you don't. That's just going to give them more reason to go pee in the corner and then play in it. And you don't want that. You don't want a nasty dog. Get them a crate that they can stand up, turn around, lay down. Have you ever seen a dog lay? They take up about this much space. Even these 150 pound bullies, when they curl up, they can fit on this little area here. So do not get an oversized crate just because you want them to have space. And if you have a puppy, yes, you may have to buy two crates in your lifetime. One when they're a small puppy. And if you have a bigger dog, you may have to get a bigger crate when they get older people. But they don't need these extra large size crates because one, they take up a lot of space in your house and they don't look very good. So then you end up not using the crate and then your dog gets destructive and they start chewing up on your couches and everything. And then you guys call us and we don't mind you guys calling us, but we're just trying to make it easier for you to live with your dog so you don't have to call us because if you stop these problems when they're young you're not going to have to worry about it when they get older so again place good boy is a good thing free and also bucks the crank is a good thing people all of these things can keep your dog safe healthy and keep them out of your hair <laughs> so as always people stay tuned stay safe stay sharp and just take care of your dog